They're a common sight across London, with an estimated 2,000 rickshaws, or pedicabs as they're known, giving tourists rides through the capital's hotspots. But some residents living here have had enough. Jane Doyle has lived in her flat in Soho for 50 years. After countless sleepless nights, she's calling for regulations to be introduced, including licensing, safety checks and banning loud music. When they play music, it's loud. And it goes until 3, 4 in the morning. It goes with the, night, with the clubs, when the clubs are open. But some people might say, you live in central London. Yes, some people would almost certainly say, I live in central London, what do I expect? What do I expect? I expect to be allowed to go to sleep at night. I don't expect to be kept awake by somebody playing loud music. At the moment, pedicabs are the only form of public transport here in London that's not regulated in any way. That means there's no requirement for insurance, no requirement for fares to be fixed or consistent, and no requirement for vehicles or drivers to be quality assessed. The cities of London and Westminster MP Nikki Aitken has proposed a new bill in Parliament in an attempt to give Transport for London the power to regulate pedicabs. My bill will mean that the vehicles are checked, but also equally importantly, the drivers are checked. They go through a checking service. I'm surprised that nobody's been seriously hurt or even killed to date because some of these vehicles I see out on the streets don't look roadworthy. The London Pedicabs Operators Association says it's been working for many years with the London authorities and members of the Houses of Parliament to fairly and appropriately license pedicabs. After many meetings with Transport for London, the Mayor's Office and the Metropolitan Police, the LPOA has drawn up a set of robust standards for pedicab operators and riders. But for some residents, that's not enough. Lee Milner, BBC London.